buen camino. Buen camino. Hola, buenos días. Day two, filming from the woods. Beautiful day. I started filming outside of the town and it's gonna be a gorgeous 20 kilometer day with fun people for the documentary Road to Mushia. You'll get to meet the film crew today. Bye Camino! There are so many beautiful trees. I imagine that. Time to hug one. I've been hugging a lot of trees today. Tree love. There's a cute little cafe coming up somewhere soon. I hope. <laughs> one of the things I love about the Camino, and I have heard from other pilgrims the same too, is that the Camino is an equalizer for humanity. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of car you drive, where you live, your zip code, your job, how much money you make or don't. Even if somebody's a luxury pilgrim with the best hotels and gear and meals, there's still gonna be pain, discomfort for a prolonged period of time. You know, that drives up emotion. You know, knocked out of homeostasis, of which one has to adapt, and deeply out of your comfort zone. Everybody is. And I think that's awesome as well. Frio calor, frio calor. Oh, that's Galicia. I am the only pilgrim out here, which is nice right now. Peace, tranquility, bliss, silence. I just had a, a break with some pilgrims from Germany and England and the United States and Hungary. <laughs> uh, we were talking about our, our walking styles. Some people like to walk alone the whole time or mix it up, sometimes social, sometimes alone. Um, different types of conversations they want to have, mostly pretty meaningful and deep on the Camino, which I like. I don't like the surface level types. And yeah, you know, to each their own. That's the Camino and that's life. Once again, a metaphor, how you want to do it, how do you want to create it. I can tell you, if you walk the Camino with me, we would be petting every animal, hugging lots of trees, having deep, deep existential amazing conversation solving the world's problems together deep conversation we'd also be silent for a lot of time it's important I think to have that space as well and also eating and drinking really good food and wine and of course don't forget we'll be laughing our asses off this is how you put on a backpack in one move Easy. We have this saying on the Camino for pilgrims, no vino, no Camino, which is true. You gotta have good flowing wine here in Spain, but also you gotta have a lot of ice cream. One more hour to go. So far it hasn't rained yet. Hooray. <laughs> uh, and it's hurting. My ankle is definitely hurting. Didn't rehab yet from my last two back-to-back -back Caminos. Uh, eh, one more hour to go and I was uh, seduced with a ride by the film team. They were driving by. You want us to take you back? No, I'm gonna finish. I'm walking all the way to Mustia. <laughs> well, not tonight, but uh, one more hour. We are very 
capable human beings. Do you know that? I found this phone on the ground. Ah, oh, some pilgrim probably, they're gonna really want it. <laughs> Running, <laughs> it's hard to do. Flip flops on rocks. And first pilgrim I found, hey, did you lose this? Oh, so happy. Yeah, your pilgrim kind of live and die by your phone to communicate with your friends, with your family. You don't want to lose it. Yay, finish the stage. This is what our accommodations look like tonight, where we're all bunking the film team. <laughs> Jules, sorry, I got to bend over. <laughs> hey, good drone flying today. Thank you. <laughs> what a great day. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. Now it's time to relax with the crew, the team. Tomorrow I have my documentary interview, which I'm excited about. And I'll be sharing with you more about this project over the next few days. Buen Camino.